right. We just finished shooting up a soup factory. Um, and we're, I guess, about to survey the aftermath. Let's see what happens. Some people have skeletons in their closet. Shot's got trolls. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Gosh, we shot up a lot of people. I was killing people with random cars. I could say that for any one of these. Last time on L.A. Noir. People are dead because I ran over them. want an address, we should see what the Federales have on it. He was going to the theater on Wednesday night. <clears throat> Not anymore. I tried to drive the car in there. <laughs> One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. There was an invisible wall that wouldn't let me enter with the car. So as he was dying, he decided to clutch that silver dollar. Yeah, let's take his movie ticket. I want to go see the. God damn. Uh, I think we found our stash, Cole. I forgot. Take a look in these boxes. I forgot what the show was. <clears throat> I'm coming. Holy. At the very minimum, another fifty pounds. Could you imagine if this place burned Detectives. down? I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. I think all of L.A. would be high. <laughs> I've been doing terrible on this case. It doesn't help I've been drinking a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I should... Play something else. Okay, let's go. All of LA is high, so yet another silver dollar. They're either high or drunk, and they're females walking off the buses by themselves, getting murdered, moited. I drink a little bit, like... I don't know, just a little bit. Maybe a shot's worth of, uh... Wine? <laughs> Damn! Must be a thousand dollars here. I'm just gonna pocket this real quick. Well, Earl, looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money, what else? Speaking of money... Where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? <clears throat> All right, this is in my notes. 
I don't know, maybe a shot's worth is more than what I'm saying. <laughs> more than what I'm meaning it to mean. Man, uh, mass, song. Okay, I may have to write this down. I don't want to keep looking at my notes. Where's my pen? My kids are always moving my stuff. There it is. The first coin, M-A-S, the second, A-N-G, the third, K-A-Y, the fourth, M-E-T, the fifth, A-L-S, K Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. I didn't even do that second word on purpose. <laughs> I just knew the first word. <clears throat> Alright, let's get out of here. I think. I think we're done here. Is my car still in the doorway? Nope. <laughs> Hop in the back. You gotta be kidding me. We're driving this? I'm driving it. You to stay out of my way. Hey there. <clears throat> There's no more Twinkies. Or at least there aren't as many as there were before. <laughs> close <laughs> driving up in a hearse locked we need another way in this place looks abandoned spare a dime what is that an achievement that I got Is there another way in? Ah. Yep, that'll work. I guess it's going through the front. Nope. I've got a feeling we're going up on this roof later. Back door, Roy. Should I start shooting? Hey, throw out the guns. Shot you in the dick, buddy.
He's like, my hat! Is it all of them? I almost shot at my partner, although I should anyway. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Weapons on the ground, now! I didn't know there was a guy over there. <laughs> that music's terrifying when I die. Ugh. I've got to do this again. Or, you okay? well, half of it. I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? This we have a years. mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back.
Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Yay! Oh, I got all the clues. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Osakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. <laughs> didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fix you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky lime is about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. <laughs> Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Alan! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. <clears throat> What's going on? 
going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you're out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple of hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. <laughs> now you liked corned beef? I think I've had corned beef only once and my husband made it. I think. I think he did. But I love egg salad. Oh, it's so good. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. I mean, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, I really like boiled eggs too. <laughs> oh, they're so good. Not much help. phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy.
Do not spit on the floor? I think people would know not to do that. I don't that think this is anything. Anyway. Look at this stuff. No. Okay. So is that it? Just the names? Oh. Okay, I've got to use the telephone. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey? Seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Give me some of those sandwiches. I want a sandwich. Or some cake. Give me that cake. Where's the phone? There it is. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel Elmar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. Okay. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Well then. What cars do we have to choose from? Go ahead and get our location going so I don't have to do this in the car. That's your partner. Where'd you learn how to drive? 
Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Prominent Tommies? What does that mean? Orson Welles. I don't know what I'm looking for. Well, they've got to still be here so they're not checked out. Prominent Tommies. They like tricky dicks. Harry Gant. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. What? Cigarette. What do you say, 207? Well, right in front of us. There's a bathroom. Oh, we can't go into the bathroom. Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Isn't that the point of this place? We found the smoker killer! angle if he has a real love interest. I think someone's had a few too many. Is there an NPC in another room talking about Does me? Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Maybe we will be seeing a movie. And this doesn't cross their minds that they've got the wrong person. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Junk. 
Why did you touch that? Oh. Yeah. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. <laughs> There's the soup company. Am I looking for something? Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. It's still warm. Another window exit. Must have just missed him. like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. <clears throat> okay, I think that perhaps is everything. We already looked in the trash, right? What about his coat? No? Oh. <laughs> this guy must have escaped the loony bin. Oh, that's the guy that's been mocking me. Oh, I can't. I can't slug him. At least find you handy. Oh, I don't need to use the phone. Okay. You've seen the register. That's all the help I can offer. There's got to be something else to see because. The location's not crossed out. You drove me up to Mulholland and we did some necking. Did some necking? That sounds hot! One of these days. This is 1947, not 1927. Of course, a girl can ask a fella out. <laughs> so just one more time. I spent a whole year for that car. He was a five-star goddamn way. Someone's had a few too many. I don't see anything new. Maybe we just come back later. No. All right, let's go. That's the cop from the newspaper. And he's still in my car.
<laughs> yeah. A lot of these locations have been really close to each other. That's why I haven't been able to kill as many people. to know which room is Candy's. Take some detours. I guess I could. Hey, can I help there's such you a thing as soap, you know. Three blondes walk into a bar. You'd think one of them would have seen it. <laughs> that was funny. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Gentlemen callers. Am I missing something here? So I guess we go up. Give it up, bitch. Sounds like we're missing he's all the fun. In Get in there, fellas. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. Uh oh. I told you I haven't seen him. Like hitting women, do you? This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Something you like more than GTA is that you were forced to save in only a few locations. You had to start there, drive to get a mission, do the mission, then drive all the way back to save. You see more of the city that way. You don't even know where this guy lives. <laughs> I didn't kill him? Darn. He's gonna wake up and be like, why are you holding my hand? We can do whatever we want to him, can't we? He's unconscious. He'll never know. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Yeah, let's give it back to him. That's a great idea. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Why'd you open her tampon case? Nothing significant. Doesn't tell me anything. Or what the hell was that nail care or what? Let me see. Incidental. I have a clue what that stuff is supposed to be. <laughs>
single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Scania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Let's see. None of these mention her being at the apartment. Uh, Save it for the it. suckers, Candy. Albert won big. He may not have told you, but you don't strike me as the type who leaves town when there's money to be had. Call me anything you like, Flatfoot. We're done with this burg and all the cheap chiselers who live here. <laughs> Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? I don't know how she would know. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Did she ever say where she was from? Ugh. You're lying to me. Albert finally won a big fight. I say good luck to him. But you know where he is. Let me help him, Candy. Do all you cops run off of the mouth? Prove I know where he is. <sighs> I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Well, get out of your way, Candy. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. 
You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. She can still hear you, you know. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Go incognito. <laughs> I guess I just hide. <laughs> Did she call me a maniac? Man, I was trying to get on the other side of the fence. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Drained. Fine, I won't do that. <laughs> Maniac! I hope she's not going too far. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. I hate games where I have to be stealthy. I'm not a stealthy person. No stealth in my face? What?
Yes, let's skip this. I don't like this. <laughs> no, I really shouldn't. Uh, I hate this. I hate it. We'll do it one more time, I guess. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. I got way too close. Ah! <laughs> I don't know, I pressed the, the sprint button and he just kind of like dashed out towards her butt. Ugh. Okay, for real, this is the last time. I'm not gonna run out like that. That time I was a maniac. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. He like lunged for her butt. The stupid camera. It it's inverted while he's sitting down. And then I have to wait for it to change back to the normal camera settings when he gets up. Stop honking your horns! His mother would be 
What was I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, this is annoying. We're skipping this. Oh, oh, it won't let me skip it. Okay. I've got to start from here now. How do I pretend to be incognito? Yeah, there's my partner. No. Almost there. Well, I don't know if we're almost there, but sure seems like we might be. Ha! I knew she would be looking. Steal their clothes. I wish. Where am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> She's behind me. Please tell me this is it. <laughs> yes, honk at me. That's the best way to. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Why'd I get in the car? 
Where are we going? Right here? A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Okay. No, not the hotel. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Hmm. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. I can't imagine what it smells like in there. Let's not talk about this. Can you connect me to the yellow cab company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. So we had to talk to him again. You have any 
idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. <clears throat> Don't you dare get in my nice gold car. You get out of there. What is wrong with you? Man. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. <laughs> Question is... What the hell? <laughs> the question is, what the hell? <laughs> I got you. Candy collects on Albert's behalf. This car is amazing. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than taking a flop. Never trust the line, especially where a fight's concerned. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I know the hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Whoa, where is this? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a habitat that's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. Hey, I like it's this It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very <laughs> sharp suits. Where's my golden baby? She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. I can't drive recklessly. How many stops is she gonna make? Can you quit driving like a jackass already? Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was gonna win. Why did he get out of the car? Why did he get out of the car? Why did he get out? What's going on here? Did I fail? <laughs>
what happened there, but for some reason the driver got out of the car. <laughs> That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She should know his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. would be a bad time to forget how to drive. All right, this time he actually did the turn. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. The green light. <laughs> Pull over. She's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tell him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. <sighs> Why? This guy must have escaped the loony bin. Where is she? Skeleton goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop. <sighs> I hate these camera controls. Isn't he the cop that won the medal and is solving all the cases? Top of my class, Kathy. Uh oh. Roy! Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <laughs> Just try and sit still, Candy. Mickey. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I... They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. <clears throat> well then. Two caliber, one shot fired. The J 
Egyptian theater. So, what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Whoops. <clears throat> he just likes busting through windows, doesn't he? Hot ham sandwich. It sounds so delicious. Uh, I'm so depressed now. My car is gone. There's nobody out here. Point at you. Where's my car? I think this is the same kind. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. <laughs> was that my partner? I don't, I don't think it was. <laughs> Why are all these locations so close to each other? Dark? What a crazy man. <laughs> and this look. seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Uh, Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. Clear. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. And now we're in this piece of trash again. What's is that? This guy's car? What 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 happened here? <laughs> cool. I guess we're going to the theater. Why'd you kill us, Carlos? You thought it was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. Then you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up, just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dime. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best kid. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it and made the quick buck, and Candy did it and make your dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business.
We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. <laughs> Come on, Cole. Carlo's a dead man. Hammond, too, when I find him. Throw out the guns! Oh, man. Oh. <clears throat> All right, here we go. <laughs> Who is that? Find some cover. Son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater, who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl? You're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're back on the street. Oh, those questions are terrible. Yeah, look at those injuries. It's all thanks to my golden baby. One eighty seven at fifty eight ten Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. <laughs> All right. Where are we going? Okay, a murder scene. They just told him to put his old uniform back on. What's <laughs> that getup of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. Ooh, 
here's one right now. I think it was this guy. Hurry before he gets here. Hurry. No. LAPD, I damn need it. your car. Now. I pay the city all these goddamn taxes and you have to take my car. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. That's the point. Oh, my open. golden baby is right there. What's the rep? Oh, there's my partner. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Thanks. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? How can we get on with this? Relax, Rusty. I'm 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. It's a reunion case. Just in case you forgot the lovable sidekicks nope. you had. Val, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. Take a closer look at her head and neck. The neck is bruised pretty badly. on the forearms and these look like bite marks very good a very unusual ring it could be wrong but it looks like a black sapphire the eyes are a classic sign of morphine and the bruises tell their own story I think one man held her down and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Surettes. 
It would make my theory. The morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Surrettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. <clears throat> this is her in these photos. A hairbrush. We've solved the case. Pretty girl like that. Maybe she was having trouble with some boys, huh? Maybe she got her heart broken. Couldn't take it anymore. So she ran herself a bath and down some hills, and then she just drifted off. I don't know. Miss Julie, she always has so much heart. So much. like barbiturates. Barbiturates. What else is rattling around in this thing? We should speak to a doctor. Having both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. doing can I get through here please not everything here is going to be relevant that's super relevant Seems irrelevant. Ew, cereal bowl full of cereal. This is going to help us. stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. Place to start. Beautiful girl. Her clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I is there I, I don't know if you give the details to the other detectives ma'am they can try and get in contact 
Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. Would Damn. she have killed herself for a man? Miss Julie would never have killed herself. She was a very determined young lady. One of those people who shake the tree for all it's worth. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Men friends, <sighs> Mrs. Reynoldson. Spill it. I will not spread gossip about Miss Julia. She was very nice to me. I don't care if she was the Virgin Mary sister. Who was she humping? You changed the sheets. You're disgusting. If you're going to take that tone, I won't answer any more questions. We're not doing very well. <laughs> what was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. That was awful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. Did he see the body? Why would there be bite marks? And bruising. Where's my beautiful car? have missed something. Everyone's driving this car. They found out how awesome it was to kill people in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got my plates, huh? emergency out of so the car. So I pay the city all these goddamn taxes and you need to take my car. Get in. Get 
<laughs> no, I'm not drunk yet. You guys better run. <laughs> oh man, we're almost there. I drove right through that guy. He should be dead. What am I looking for again? <clears throat> Dr. Stoneman? I don't see this person. I don't see him on here. Am I in the right place? Yeah? Is he on this one? Oh, there we go. I thought they were the same. Stoneman, Office 505. Gosh, he's at the top! Oh, there's an elevator. Ugh, I don't like elevators. Whoa, what's in here? Oh. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. PD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, Detective. How well did you know Miss Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Forty six, what year is it now? I don't know what year it is. <laughs> you didn't like her, did you? It wasn't a question of like, detective. She was incredibly beautiful. 
When you looked in her eyes, you knew how a mouse felt before a snake. Not an ounce of warmth there. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Um. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. We'll be in touch. <sighs> that was so bad. I doubt it. <laughs> it would take a smarter man than me to connect that. The doctor's like, why are you touching all my stuff? Jump out the window. I'm stumped. Ideas? What are we missing? Let's go back to the apartment. What? Oh, okay. Another location. The old boy is lying. About what? I don't know. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. It's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. All right, let's go back to the apartment. money you are a reckless bad person <laughs> thank you that's a compliment Ugh. stupid telephone something here
Uh, which one was she? This one? Guy, what's the story with driving off without me? <laughs> You're an ignoramus, that's what. Somebody finally spoke up about leaving without him. It's better you be ignorant of what I was doing. What else is there? On the roof. To the roof! There's nothing new in the apartment. can't get on the roof. My partner's like, I'm not climbing all those stairs. I'm supposed to do here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoa. 
Oh. <laughs> Business. <laughs> Sir, step out of the car, please. LAPD. Oh, well, not on your life, Buster. He wants a five star goddamn wet. I need this vehicle. Police business. I find one goddamn thing. You'll be lucky to see it again. Hey. <laughs> He's like, wait, why was I running? help you with today LAPD ma'am I hope I haven't done anything wrong no ma'am we're making some inquiries about Julia Randall does she work here no I had to let her go is she in some sort of trouble she was found dead this morning <clears throat> how long had Julia worked as a model well she worked in New York before coming here she was a very beautiful girl Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall. How is that her fault? Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? That was a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to me. Very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. <clears throat> How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiancé, Henry Arnett. I think that's really shitty. That's like the husband's fault that they were more interested in her than the dress. Henry is your beau. Tell us about him. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. <laughs> Our 
Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Look, Damn. lady, you need to give me something. Do you know anybody who would have cause to harm Julia? No. Really, Mr. Phelps. Julie is my friend. I don't know why anyone would want to hurt her. She's okay, isn't she? That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. I can't believe it. She was so full of life. We are not doing very good. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? Messages, please. Yes, Detective. The coroner has been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please. Thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. Damn, he's already in the damn car. Whoops. You'd say I'm doing great. The only thing I'm doing great at is racking up the amount of money from injuries. Uh, tab. Would you honk at someone simply Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got something to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. Ah! A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest ah! secrets in a heartbeat. Nice move not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking a big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. <laughs> that was a tax-paying citizen who just passed off the fucking hood, Phelps! some information for you. Ugh. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two-by-four. So what? Good riddance. I found two serrets in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening now. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, now. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. 
His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed. For others. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, <laughs> Mal. Thanks for the lead. Why is he going to be such an asshole? The guy's just doing his fucking job. I didn't mean to go in there. I bumped at the swipe and put him down in my sap. Arnett is in interview too, Phelps. Go help him get whatever it is off his chest. Where is it? Interview room two is this way. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. <clears throat> What's his name? Henry? We were friends. I'm doing so bad. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Spill it, Henry. You know nothing about a man named Henderson? Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town, somewhere back east. <laughs> Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. I don't want to make Thomas fashion. <clears throat> I mean, you've got a maid if you can get to that desk. All right. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. <clears throat> I'm proud of it. The Fighting Sixth. You were in the Sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have them get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. <clears throat> hey, double escapement. How are you doing? Yeah, the faces look so in real. That car at the lights. <laughs> look at that dead face. Uh, if you look up Cole Phelps, 
You can find the guy that they modeled him after, like which I guess is the voice there. actor. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Looks just Actually, like him. You don't. Just on it all. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. I know. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Was it or is it? What kind of car is it? Where are you taking us, Henry? <gasps> my baby, my golden baby. Why can't they go grab her? Step foot in Okinawa. <clears throat> you got a silver Ford Focus. Cool. I drove a Ford Focus as a rent, a rented car, but while my car was being repaired, I had been in a car accident. Money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. What? I get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. God, don't make me hide again. Okay, good, he didn't see me. No, I don't drive rentals like that. <clears throat> you could never possibly imagine me being in a car accident. This actually was not my fault. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue walking. Uh, I hate this. Now I was on the highway and some dude like merged into me and my car like spun around. Luckily there was it was just me and him in that section of the highway. I I could have died. Holy cow, it was scary. Luckily, my son wasn't in the money car. And fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. I get 
closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. I think I can press X. No. It says I'm going to lose this trail, but I see him just fine. I'm never playing this game ever again once I finish it. Stow it, don't throw it. He needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Too much slack. Get closer. I'm right next to him. I see him. I'm not gonna lose him. Losing the trail. Much slack. Gotta get closer. Alright, let's go this way. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. That's right, Mexico City. One-way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City. Tomorrow night. That's good. But this is better. Oh my God. It's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. 
Our net only got 600 clams. Well, what do I do now? Oh, the phone. She wants a five star, god damn it. <laughs> damn crates. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Isn't the cops who solved the big case you got promoted? Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Yes, Detective. Detectives Bukowski and Galloway request you return to the Hollywood Station. They have information in the Julia Randall case. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood Ninth Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thank you. All right. That's the one. About a week ago, this guy murdered his wife and thumped the body. But that's the cop who put him away. Here we go. Here's a black one. That's a little bit more fitting for my purposes. Hurry! A partner was closing in. He's the blue dot on the map. Yeah. Idiots! <laughs> Sorry, madam. Police officer, I need I a car. I get it back with as much as a scratch. Did you read about the I'm gonna run her over. Sir, I need the contraband list. Items stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? I want to make homicide. What was her name? You know Beverly. Isn't there Julia Randall's ring is here. It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. What 
What about the pearl? Oh, yeah, the pearl ring. Even the engagement ring was purloined. Arnett is a cad. Uh, what else? Seems Julia wasn't the first bored society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. All right. Do I need to talk to the detectives? I didn't want to I guess not. Yay, you're coming home. I guess let's get to this uh Here, let's do this first. This will give me a a save, I think. You are so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. All right, where's my car? Where's my car? Oh, it's this one here. Poor guy. Must be going crazy. No. Damn it, he got in my car. Watch out for the pedestrians! Why? Well, I, I was watching out. You better not get blood on this car. I get to the next destination. What's wrong with you? Everything. Do you know how much this car costs? Uh, this isn't your car. Slow down, you lunatic. <laughs> he got out of the car because it's on fire. No. <laughs> isn't that the cop who won the medal and solving all the cases? All right, you have a question? What's the rush? He's the top of the rest of that movie producer. Good night, Tom. Oh, no, Thanks to fire. <laughs> <laughs> Play this game with the controller? Out yes! Out the car! Police! Be careful with the copper! In fact, there was one part where I pretty much had to play it with the controller because I couldn't control the guy properly for the, what was happening. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> um, I think I can switch it any time. I don't have to ask it to either. If I were to pick up my controller right now, it would probably work. Everything is pretty neat. Woo! <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Get out of the way next time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no. This is the first time that the location was super far. Holy Toledo! I think I was gonna run right into me. <laughs> oh, here we go. Get out of my way. A new color. Yay! Thank you for the follow! I really appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy yourself. 
House. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? She is. Would you follow me, sir? Uh, I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? Uh, okay, well, it's saving here. I didn't want to go through another fail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interrogation. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, really appreciate it. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with more L.A. Noir. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. So take care and have a good night. Goodbye.